It is a beautiful October night and out onto the field come the New York Jets to take on the Miami Dolphins. In this play, oh! it is Leslie Shepard. Touchdown. Lamar Smith is still on his feet. He's going to go all the way. They give it to Smith. Touchdown Miami. And so the Jets attempt to go for it on fourth down. Don't get it. And the Dolphins make them pay a very heavy price. Now they got to go to the hurry up offense. Did he test the Verde? It's been that kind of night. Three picks. From the 41 yard line. And that is caught at the 32 yard line by Diedrich Ward. Brian Walker, who's been hitting everything that moves tonight. Time running down, the clock still moving. Second down at 13. For Coles, and does he make the catch? He does. How did he catch that one? He took it out of Sam Madison's grasp. It went from an interception to a completion and a touchdown. Coles snatched it from him. Look at this. The first hands you'll see will be Madison's, and that's why some guys play defense and some guys play offense. So it's 30 to 13. They're going to go for two, which I find to be somewhat curious to begin with. They do not make it. But opting to go for two in a situation where you normally defer that choice until you really need the two-point conversion. So now two touchdowns and two two-pointers still don't get them even. Here's Marion bringing it back out to the 32-yard line. You talk about balance on offense. The Dolphins have 182 yards rushing and 187 passing. Now Thurman Thomas is in the game on third down out of the shotgun, third and four. Intercepted. Sean Ellis batted it, and then Fiedler got back there to make sure Ellis didn't intercept it and walks into the end zone. Diedrich Ward back to receive. Turks punt. Ward at the 30 yard line, and Diedrich brings it back up to the 37 yard line. So the Jets will take over there. Testaverde throwing over the middle. It is caught at the one yard line, and in for the touchdown is Richie Anderson. We talked about Richie Anderson's versatility. I'm not so sure he was in the end zone before his knees went down. And now Wanstead throws Wanstead. the flag because they have looked at it upstairs, and he gets the message and says, let's challenge this. After reviewing the play, the runner's knee was down at the one yard line. The first and goal at the one. The challenge has been upheld. Walt Coleman telling the crowd, so it is first down and goal with 10-01 left in regulation. Well, the one time we cut away for a mandated commercial, they wrap it up quickly. There is Testaverde off the play fake. A little cross in the end zone caught touchdown. Jermaine Wiggins. Who would have thunk it that we'd have a game? I guess it all turned on that Lavernus Coles touchdown catch, huh? That was part of it. Out of the shotgun. They have to get to the 45 to convert. Inside handoff, Thomas stopped well shy of the first, and so it's three and out. And so the crowd is reinvigorated. The jet defense is reinvigorated. And all of a sudden, what looked to be a walk in the park for Dave Wanstead is anything but. Their lead is now 10. The Jets have seven and a half minutes remaining, and they were first down at their own 19-yard line. Testaverde over the middle. That's caught by Coles. A flag comes in because Testaverde got whacked at the end of the play, and another flag comes out, and a third one. Boy, the Dolphins are doing everything they can to make sure the Jets get back in this game. Armstrong a little frustrated tonight. You can see how guilty he was trying to keep Vinny standing. Third down and 10 at the 33. And that is caught by Corbett. Right over the middle goes Lane. To the 18-yard line, another Jet first down. As bad as Vinny Testaverde played for three quarters tonight, and he played horribly, he is playing just the opposite. He's magnificent right now. And it's fourth down, and now down by 10. They're going to attempt the field goal from Hall here. <laughs> Snap was a little errant, but Trooper got it down, and Hall bangs it through. And the ball is signal ready for play. That's why it's running. 
On second and 20. Fiedler throwing into traffic and is lucky it wasn't picked off. Three green shirts. Victor Green and Marcus Coleman were two of them surrounding the intended receiver. Well, look at Victor Green and Marcus Coleman. If they don't bump into each other, Coleman makes the catch easily. Fiedler sacked at the six-yard line. Brian Cox unabated to the quarterback. First sack of the night for the Jets' defense. And boy, do they need it. Still 438 left in regulation. Oh, Kirk's kick nice. is a bad one. It's a corkscrew that rolls dead at the 39-yard line. Hey, this is unbelievable the way this is going. The Jets might get two more scores. From the 39-yard line, first down. And Anderson almost ran to Bernie, but everything is working. Jets only one win in their history, which began in 1960, in which they trailed by 20 or more points. That was against Denver in 78. This would be the biggest deficit ever overcome. That one was 21. Here's Benny going to the end zone. Can he make the catch? Yes! <laughs> Bats. Look at this. Now the extra point to tie the game, and there's still 3.55 to go. And for those Jets fans who left this stadium about an hour ago, and have we got news for you. Certainly it's the two halves of Benny, that's no question. In total yardage, it's almost a dead heat. 361 for Miami and 360 for the once moribund Jets. Brock Marion from the seven. And Brock Marion is into Jets territory. Sometimes you expend so much psychic energy getting back to even footing, you forget about the little things like stopping a kickoff return. First down for Miami at the 46-yard line. Fiedler, and he's going for six into the end zone. It's wide open to Shepard. Touchdown, Miami. This is a street game. This is a Jet Dolphin offensive game that we kind of predicted before the game, right, Al? Unbelievable. Talking about all that defense. I think we missed on this one a little bit. What a play by Fiedler. Look at the little out and up move. Aaron Glenn drops his coverage. Now he's looking for help from Victor Green. What a pass by Jay Fiedler. Aired that one out about 60 yards on a the line. They have scored 24 points. 23 actually because they went for the two and didn't get it on their last four possessions. And that is caught by Curtis Martin as he crosses the 50 to the 47. And the Jets have not had a single huddle in the fourth quarter. And it's worked, it's worked superbly for them. The huddle was screwing him up, that was the problem. It's a little dump off to Martin. And he takes it to the 37 yard line. The cornerbacks help deep. Benny with a 211 yard quarter. And even more, wide open is Anderson. Anderson to the 12 yard line. First down. You know, You'd like to take some time off the clock now. You know, they score too quickly. The Dolphins get the ball back, and they've got three timeouts left. Benny to the ground. Martin taken down at the six-yard line. Brian Walker comes in. It's going to be second down and three. And the Jets will take a timeout here, their final timeout. And right, now you've got a gigantic play coming up. It's fourth and one. Benny throwing and stopped at the one is Anderson, but he has the first down. He has the first down, no timeouts. Needed a long yard, got two and a half. Well, they brought the receiver in motion, overloaded the right side. Anderson with a fabulous catch before Jerry Wilson can drill him. Good throw by Testaverde. What a catch 
under pressure. Did I see that graphic correct? 19 first downs in this quarter? That averages out to almost 80 a game. Out of the tight formation. Fake to Martin, then a dump, and it is juggled and caught by Jumbo Elliott. The tackle lines up as an eligible receiver at the end of the line. He's open, he's juggling, he's falling down, and they're one point from tying the game. Right now, they, they're not sure what they're doing is they're reviewing it right. upstairs. Remember, you're inside two minutes. So this is the call from the booth. Juggle, juggle, juggle. That's a He's catch. got it, yes. Yep. yep. Jumbo checking out the Jumbotron here at Giant Stadium. The ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Now to tie the game, Tom Tupa to hold. The extra point, Tupa gets it down and it just does get inside the upright. Tom Tupa is one of the best in the league at handling snaps like that and getting them down. That was a beautiful job. Well, the game is approaching the four hour mark. I don't think I've ever been to a football game or seen one or played in one. That's gone four hours. I mean, you just don't say four-hour football game. Four hours, and who knows how much longer to go. And here comes the very all-important coin flip. First team that scores wins. Miami's the visitors. Coin is choice is heads. They usually bring Phil Luckett in for this. Heads. Miami won the toss. We'll receive. To return the kick, J.J. Johnson back there as well. John Hall sends it into the early morning sky, and it's fielded by Marion at the six-yard line. A pass to 30, and another good Brock Marion run back, this time to the 37-yard line. A lot of the crowd went home. Seems like most of them are back. Third down and five from the 32. If you fumble the ball and the other team recovers, they get it back with a first down. Yeah, this is unbelievable by Coleman. His second interception of the night. If he falls down right there, the Jets are in great shape. But Thurman Thomas came by and popped the ball loose. One more first down, and they'll be in field goal range for Marty. And that is this off again by Coleman. You got to hand it to Marco Marcus Coleman for hanging in there mentally and the route by Gadsden another out route thrown way too far to the inside. An hour and a half ago it was Miami in a lock. It was 30 to 7 at one point. Then the Dolphins took the lead 37 30 and the Jets caught him at the end. Second down and 10. That's the birdie to Martin and he gets dragged down by Marion as he makes the catch at the 41. It'll be third down and three. It's just mind boggling to me that Testaverde could look that disheveled early in the game and this radar locked. It's kind of the way his season has gone. He's played very, very well late in ball game. Big third and three. Then he throws. Caught and is crooked to the 40, to the 32 yard line. Zach Thomas catches him from behind. Corbett is nails. And Corbett is working against Jerry Wilson again. Vinny Testaverde, four touchdown passes in the fourth quarter, three of them caught by players who had never scored. Second and four. Vinny backpedals. Under pressure. Is it picked off? And we're waiting for a signal from the official. And they say no, no. Jerry Wilson came up with the football. Another look. Yeah. Yes, it hit the ground. Good call by the officials, late as it was. This game is unbelievable. It was 30 to 7 at one point. 
It is now the longest game in the history of Monday Night Football because it's four hours, ten minutes old. If the Jets win, it will be the greatest comeback in their history. Third down and four at the 25-yard line. They give it to Martin and Curtis to the 23. So now you're looking at about a 40-yard field goal for John Hall. Remember the last snap by Brad Banta was bad on the extra point to tie it at 37 but Tupa does an excellent job of getting it down. Hall put it just through the right upright and now he'll have to do it from 40 yards to cap off what would be an unbelievable comeback. Hey the way this game's going I wouldn't be shocked if Tupa pulled back a snap and naked bootlegged out to the left. Anything is possible. From 40 yards. Good snap. Pick away. Jets win. I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. Start blow drying Koppel's hair.